That has nothing to do with my prophet. Please just stop it. It doesn't make any sense. That's not the message he sent. That's not what he meant. That's not why he came. So you can claim as much as you want to, but I assure you the man I follow was not the same. See, I know a man who forbade the cutting down of a plant, who even spoke against those who had burnt an ant. So why is it that I simply can't understand how we claim to follow the same man? I mean, I know a man who forbade us from harming the innocent, saying he who does so would not only be prohibited from paradise, but he would not even smell its scent. So please tell me how what you're doing has anything to do with the message that he sent. This is the man who forbade us from even scaring cattle with a knife, saying you have no right to let the animal die twice. And when he was asked for advice, he'd reply, don't get angry, don't get angry, don't get angry, repeating it thrice. See, I know a man who called to patience first, even to those who had treated him the worst. And when he was asked to invoke Allah's wrath, he said, I was not sent to curse, but rather as a mercy to the earth. Matter of fact, the entire universe, meaning everything that was made. See, this is a man whom the clouds would rush to shade, a man to whom the trees would sway and the birds would flock to seek his aid. For they knew he was a man of justice, a man who would never betray, a man who could be trusted even by those who had wanted him slain. See, Anas bin Malik served him for 10 years and not once had he heard him complain. For he would never get angry for himself, but only for Allah's sake. And he never responded to evil with evil, but rather he pardoned and forgave. For had he been harsh hearted, the people would have ran away. So what is it that we still don't understand when we claim to follow Islam, yet we fail to follow this man? I mean, I know a man who was so caring and compassionate who said that there is a reward in serving all things that are animate. In other words, everything that breathes, whether it be the animals, the trees, and every single human being. I mean, if Allah called him Rahmatan lil alameen, how dare you call him anything else that contravenes? See, this is a man who said that the Muslim was he who is soft, simple, and lenient. A man who taught us himself to be cautious from falling into extremism. See, he was never given two choices except he chose that which was easiest. Not for himself, but for his people and their convenience. See, I know a man who advocated for the freedom of the slaves. A man who taught us that the Muslim is the one from whom the people are safe. Not only from his hands, but even from the words that he says. See, this is a man who would never mock, mimic, nor ridicule, nor would he ever publicly rebuke an individual. This is the man I follow, so forgive me if this sounds unusual. But the man I know was so much more handsome, so beautiful. A man who taught kindness to the neighbors, who taught us to serve others without expecting back any favors, to spread peace to those we know and even to the strangers, to walk with humility and to simply ignore the haters. But nevertheless, I know a man who still taught us to stand up for the oppressed, from the men, women and children who call out to us in distress. I know a man who taught us to fight for these people, but by no means does this mean we have the right to transgress. For those who oppress have nothing to do with his name. So you can say what you wish to say and continue to defame his name, but at the end of the day I assure you, the man I follow was not the same. Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam